and welcome back to my channel. Hey foodies. Welcome back to Nutri Foodie and Lifestyle. Now I know it's been a while since I've said that. It's been a while but I just wanted to make a quick video giving you guys an update because I'm going to be coming back officially to YouTube. Now I know many of you are probably wondering, hey, where's Max? Because I know a lot of you know Max. He was a big highlight on this channel. And um, right now Max is kind of taking a break from YouTube still. Um, and he may come back for some videos, but for the most part, this is mostly gonna be the neutral the neutral foodie part of the channel, uh, which is like my part of the channel. So um I'm glad to be back. I've been um, gone for probably more than five months. I think the last time I made a video was either in May or in June. So that's June, July, August, September, October, November, December. That's seven months. That's like, that's because in the beginning of the year, we were kind of like on a high making a lot of videos and filming and I was doing so many different platforms. I was doing YouTube, I was doing my blog, and I was managing also my Instagram. And it, it's a lot of work to manage and go between three platforms. And then also while you have a growing toddler who loves to play and wants my attention. So after a while, it just became a lot and we got a little bit of a burnout. And when I did come back, to like social media i was mostly just focusing on my instagram and my blog and now i'm just mostly on my instagram page but i'm looking to try to get back to all three i don't know if i'll be like simultaneously posting all together like i did last time probably not because i still am a little bit you know busy and trying to get things done in my life but um what's been going on so I did move. Um, I moved, in, my husband and I moved in with my sister-in-law. Hey girl, if you're watching. And um, that's been great. And also check out for her channel. She's going to be starting her new channel soon. Um, and it's going to be centered on self-care. So stay tuned for that. And I will leave her information once she gets her channel started. And um, what's been going on for me? Well, Max started a new job back in April. So that took him away from YouTube and he's been like pretty busy with his job and he's also enjoying it too. And then both of us have been on like a weight loss journey and we're probably gonna come out with a video. He'll be definitely in that video where we're gonna talk about our struggles with weight loss. Um, the both of us, we were trying to lose weight since like a little bit after the pandemic started last year. And then fast forward to now, we were working out a lot. We still work out and we're still active, but the pounds just don't come off. We just want them to melt off and they don't. So um, that's been our struggle. So we both gained a good amount of weight. Um, I gained probably 10 more pounds than I was probably the last time that I did last did a YouTube uh, video. So um, we're going to come up with a video talking about our weight loss struggles and then where we are now and what we're doing as far as our eating patterns and our dieting and so forth and so on. For me, I started a new job in September as a recruiter so I'm adding that to my resume so that's kept me very busy but um the moving was a lot so we needed time to adjust and get settled and I needed to figure out how was I going to go back to social media and do YouTube and things like that so that's why it took me so long to kind of get back on the bandwagon because because it just took a long time to get settled in even like I still had things at my parents house that I was moving back and forth but um fast forward now we're a little bit more cozy and settled in um as you guys know I am a licensed practical nurse and I graduated in May of 2020 from a 
um, diet, nutrition and dietetic technician program. So I got my degree in nutrition and dietetic technician, but I was also studying to become registered, which is an exam that I have to take so in order to uh, use the credential NDTR behind my name. So I took the test at the end of last year, 2020, and I didn't pass it. And I recently took it again, and I didn't pass it again. But both times I was so, so close by like three points to passing. So uh, I was a little bit down and depressed about it. But um, this second time around, I actually knew what I wanted my backup plan to be. So that's what I'm going to be working on now for this channel going forward. So basically um, at this point, while I was studying for the NDTR exam, I was like, I wanna have a backup plan because nutrition is still my thing. I still wanna do nutrition and I still wanna be able to have um, my official credential in nutrition even though I do have the degree and along with the degree I earned um, certificates such as that nutrition and health promotion diabetes care and education and community nutrition so I'm able to use those certifications to work in any of those um, specific areas too which is amazing but I also wanted to actually make sure that I earn you know, a, and a more official credential if I couldn't pass the exam to get the DTR credential for um, the nutrition and dietetic technician. So as of right now, well, not as of right now, but um, as of last week, I started a new course um, where I am going to be earning my credentials as a, um, a holistic nutritionist so um or is it a holistic nutrition specialist but it's a holistic nutritionist that's what the um credential is for and i'm doing that through the afpa if you guys have heard of that and they also are offer a lot of other different certifications too which i think i'm going to be jumping on board on some of their other certifications um they have weight management specialists um they have some other certifications that could tie in to me as being a mom um and especially because i'm doing a lot of fitness right now and working out and trying to lose weight um and this is actually still part of my postpartum care journey um they have a certification that allows you to get a prenatal and postnatal um, fitness specialist as well. So they have a lot of different um, certifications within their um, school and they are they are accredited. And actually when I earn my holistic nutrition and certification, I'll be able to qualify for other things that are tied to the holistic nutritionist. So I'm excited for that journey. So um, my page now is kind of gonna turn into um maybe you can say more of a holistic nutrition type of um page now and i'm still going to nutrition education because that's what i was doing before but now i'm going to take it more so down a holistic path especially because um as you guys know i have acid reflux i wrote an ebook um about my journey with acid reflux so I'm going to leave the link down below and I'll probably leave a picture here so you guys can see what the cover of the ebook looks like. But um, I got diagnosed with LPR reflux at the age of 23, but I really had the symptoms before that. And that's how I started my social media journey with nutrition anyway. Um, because of the acid reflux, I was helping out a lot of people who um, were struggling to get through their symptoms and manage it, you know, and not be dependent on PPIs like Prilosec and things like that and just manage it with just their diet. So um, I dealt with that. I've dealt with gastritis in the past. So I've dealt with a lot of different like stomach issues and even now, like two weeks ago, I started to have pain in my stomach and I realized that I have now gastritis because I haven't been eating right and I can 
admit that sometimes I do fall way off the bandwagon, <laughs> especially with all this weight that I gained, I know for sure. But um, that's what's going to be coming up on this channel. It's going to be holistic nutrition. It's going to be how food can heal your body and um, the way we should eat naturally. Um, and I'm going to do juicing. I just, I, I got into juicing. I'm going to do recipes, cooking. So a lot of different things are coming. So stay tuned for that. And thank you for tuning into this video. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe.